Imagine a creature from your nightmares. Now shrink it down to a barely visible speck. This is not science fiction, but a glimpse into our own evolutionary past. Millions of years before dinosaurs roamed, the Earth was dominated by microscopic life forms. Among them swam Saccharhytus, a creature both intriguing and unsettling. This tiny being, barely visible to the naked eye, holds a profound secret. It is one of the earliest known ancestors of all vertebrates, including humans. Saccharhytus was, to put it simply, a bag with a mouth. Its body, measuring a millimeter in length, was a wrinkled sac. A gaping maw dominated one end, ringed by spines and sensory organs. This orifice served as both entry and exit for food and waste. Saccharhytus lacked eyes, limbs, or any complex organs. It moved by wriggling through the ancient seabed, a microscopic monster in a world of miniature life. Despite its simplicity, Saccharhytus possessed features that would echo through evolutionary history. Its large mouth hinted at a predatory lifestyle, perhaps preying on even smaller organisms. The arrangement of its spines, while primarily defensive, suggested a rudimentary form of movement. Saccharhytus, though primitive, held the seeds of complexity within its tiny form. The discovery of Saccharhytus in 2017 sent ripples through the scientific community. Unearthed from ancient rock formations in China, these microscopic fossils pushed back the known history of deuterostomes by millions of years. The fossils, exquisitely preserved, revealed intricate details of Saccharhytus's anatomy. Using powerful microscopes and advanced imaging techniques, scientists were able to piece together a remarkably complete picture of this ancient organism. The discovery of Saccharhytus in China highlighted the importance of fossil beds like those found there. These sites, often overlooked, hold the key to unlocking the secrets of early life on Earth. Saccharhytus, a tiny creature from a distant past, had become a window into the very origins of our own lineage. Section 4. Deuterostome Dynasty, Our Ancient Lineage. This section delves into the fascinating journey of our ancient ancestors, tracing back to the very origins of complex life forms. Saccharhytus's significance lies in its classification as a deuterostome. This tiny, ancient organism, no larger than a grain of sand, holds the key to understanding the early stages of animal evolution. This fundamental grouping of animals, which includes vertebrates, echinoderms and hemichordates, represents a major branch in the tree of life. These groups share a common ancestor, making them crucial to our understanding of evolutionary biology. It is defined by a shared developmental pattern. During the embryonic stages, these animals exhibit a unique sequence of development that sets them apart from other groups. In deuterostomes, the anus develops from the first opening in the embryo, the blastopore, a distinctive feature that has profound implications for their biology and evolution, while the mouth develops secondarily. This secondary development of the mouth is a hallmark of deuterostomes and contrasts sharply with other animal groups. This is in contrast to protostomes such as insects and mollusks, where the mouth develops first. This fundamental difference in development highlights the diverse strategies life has evolved, where the mouth develops first. This primary development of the mouth in protostomes is a key distinguishing feature from deuterostomes. The discovery of Saccharhytus as an early deuterostome provided crucial evidence for understanding the evolution of this vast and diverse group. It shed light on the early evolutionary pathways that led to the rise of complex life forms. Its simple body plan, lacking a separate anus, suggests a primitive stage in deuterostome evolution. This simplicity offers a window into the early anatomical features of our distant ancestors, offered insights into the ancestral condition of deuterostomes. By studying Saccharhytus, scientists can infer the characteristics of the earliest deuterostomes and how they gave rise to more complex forms. Saccharhytus became a critical link in the chain connecting humans to the very roots of the vertebrate family tree. This tiny organism, through its ancient lineage, bridges the gap between simple early life forms and the complex vertebrates we see today, including humans. 
Section 5 Life's Timeline Placing Saccharhitis in Deep Time To understand Saccharhitis's place in the grand narrative of life, we must journey back over 540 million years. This was a time when the Earth was a very different place, with its own unique landscapes and ecosystems. The seas teemed with life forms that would seem alien to us today. This period, known as the Cambrian, witnessed an unprecedented explosion of diversity in the fossil record. It was a time of rapid evolutionary change where many of the major groups of animals first appeared. The Cambrian period is often referred to as the biological Big Bang because of the sudden and dramatic increase in the complexity of life forms. Known as the Cambrian Explosion, this event saw the emergence of most major animal phyla, laying the foundation for the complex ecosystems we see today. The creatures that emerged during this time were the ancestors of many of the animals we are familiar with, including arthropods, mollusks and vertebrates. Saccharhitis predates this explosion, living during the late Ediacaran period. The Ediacaran period, which preceded the Cambrian, was a time when the first large, complex, multicellular organisms began to appear. These early life forms were quite different from the animals that would later dominate the Cambrian seas. This makes it one of the oldest known deuterostomes, providing a glimpse into the very dawn of our own lineage. Deuterostomes are a group of animals that includes vertebrates such as fish, birds and mammals, as well as some invertebrates like sea stars and sea urchins. The discovery of Saccharhitis helped scientists understand the early evolution of this important group. Its existence in the Ediacaran hints at a hidden diversity of early animals, many yet to be discovered, that laid the groundwork for the Cambrian explosion. These early creatures were the pioneers of complex life on Earth, setting the stage for the incredible diversity of life that would follow. Section 6. From Simple Beginnings, The Rise of Complexity Saccharhitis, a simple, bag-like creature, might seem a far cry from the complexity of humans. This tiny organism, no larger than a grain of sand, lived over 500 million years ago in the primordial seas. Despite its simplicity, it holds a crucial place in the story of life's evolution. Yet within its rudimentary form lay the potential for extraordinary evolutionary change. Saccharhitis is believed to be one of the earliest deuterostomes, a group that would eventually give rise to a vast array of complex organisms. Its simple structure masked a hidden potential for diversification and adaptation. The development of a separate anus, a seemingly minor detail, had profound consequences. This evolutionary innovation allowed for a more efficient digestive system, enabling organisms to process food more effectively and grow larger. It marked a significant step in the evolution of complex body plans. It allowed for more efficient digestion and the evolution of a through gut, paving the way for larger, more complex body plans. This seemingly small change set the stage for the development of more specialized and intricate anatomical structures, which would be crucial for the survival and diversification of future species. Over millions of years, descendants of Saccharitis diverged along different evolutionary paths. This divergence led to the emergence of various lineages, each adapting to their environments in unique ways. The evolutionary tree branched out, giving rise to a multitude of life forms. Some gave rise to the echinoderms, a group that includes starfish and sea urchins. These marine animals exhibit radial symmetry and have unique water vascular systems showcasing the diverse evolutionary strategies that emerged from simple beginnings. Others evolved into the hemichordates, a group of worm-like marine animals. These creatures, though less well-known, play a vital role in the marine ecosystem and provide insight into the early stages of chordate evolution. And from a lineage that remains shrouded in the mists of time, the first vertebrates emerged. These early vertebrates would eventually lead to the rise of fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals, including ourselves. The journey from simple beginnings to the rise of complexity is a testament to the power of evolution and the incredible diversity of life on Earth. Section 7. Our microscopic ancestor, a legacy in every cell. 
Today, over 540 million years after Saccharhytus swam in ancient seas, its legacy lives on. Every bone in our body, every neuron in our brain, every beat of our heart can be traced back to this tiny, unassuming ancestor. Saccharhytus reminds us that even the most complex life forms have humble beginnings and that evolution often works in surprising and unexpected ways. You're looking at your oldest known relative, a microscopic, mouth-only monster from the dawn of time. Leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to Extinct Empire.